This video is going to cover the internal G-code editor that is shipping with GibbsCam 13. If you don't know how to select the G-code editor, let me show you really quick. I'm going to go to File, Preferences, and then right down here it says G-code editor settings. So you can say no G-code editor so it won't open up in an editor. The internal editor, which I'm going to show you in a second, or custom application. So if you have something else that you want to see your G-code in. So let me go ahead and post this out. So this is what the new G-Code editor looks like. You can see there's nice pretty colors here. There's callouts for each one. I'm going to show you how to change that in a sec. So you can see that there's two different flows that posted for this uh, program. So you can see there's one here and then the next one next to it. We can scroll down and look at it. If we want to look at it at the same time, we can just come up here and say view synced. So here we can see both of the programs side by side. And right now, we can move them independently. So we're really not sure where things start, where things stop, stuff like that. So this box right here, I can pick what's called a sync definition. Now with the sync definition, you can see as I scroll down, it actually gives me a really good snapshot of when different flows are happening in relation to each other. So let me show you something else that's really neat. I mentioned it just a second ago. So what we can do here now is we can actually change the color of different things inside of the G-code. So you can see here rotary moves, feeds and speeds, offsets. Um, you know, I personally like everything to be black except for the speeds and feeds. So if that's something you like, we can just kind of move this down to black. So now you can see all of the comments are green, but I left my speeds and feeds bright pink so I can just scroll down and find them. So that's the new G-Code editor that ships with GibbsCam 13. It's included with every seat of GibbsCam 13, so if you're on maintenance and you upgrade, you'll have access to this. Hey, thanks a lot. If you have any questions about the G-Code editor or GibbsCam 13, please visit our website or reach out to your local reseller. Thank you so much.